Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, all the praise to you, Jesus. Thank you, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Labor the whole shock at Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, give glory to God for another beautiful day. The last day of the week that we broadcast, let's lift up our hands to our Father. Is the Lord good to you? Father, you are good. And all the time, you are good. You are good. All the time, all the time, you are good. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day, Friday, the 25th day of June, 2021. We return all the glory and all the honor and all the praise to you for the awesome week wonderful week wonderful day that you have made we will give you glory and bless your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed good morning welcome to part to triumph everyone across the globe wherever you are right now you are welcome to this awesome time in the presence of our father let's lift up our hands let's appreciate god for his faithfulness for his kindness for his mercy for his love to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, and is capable of piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow. Bando Zahateka, and is a discerner of the thoughts and Hebrew on the other and intents of the heart. I don't know if you are catching a revelation of this word. Now, the word, you can't you can't see your word, right? When you speak your word, you can't see, but you feel the impact. So here, the word of God may not be seen, but the impact can divide. In the your bone and the marrow. Kadibro Otia. The bone is the outer, the marrow is what is inside. So the word of God can touch your bone, can touch what's inside. And it also says it can divide your soul and spirit. Your spirit you can't see, your soul you can't see, but the word of God can see it and separate between your soul and spirit. And look at it. It can discern the thoughts, what you are thinking about that nobody knows. The word of God can locate it and then can talk about the intentions in your heart. How powerful is this word? This morning, let's ask for that quick powerful sharp word to come our way this morning and bless us whatever needs to be touched in our bones in our marrows in our soul in our spirit they have pro i can you know there's someone on this line i don't know who you are there is heaviness in your soul they gather bro table but that heaviness is lifted now let's ask for the power in the world to lift that heaviness off your heart this morning in the name of Jesus and quicken your spirit man to come alive so that you can do what God wants you to do this day and all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. It could be in your body, maybe there's something to be touched in your body. The word is so powerful, it can touch that part of your body this morning, quicken it the bone, the marrow, every part of your body, the intent in your soul, the intent in your heart, what you are thinking about, what you are intending to do. The word of God can look locate it and help you this morning let's go before the lord let's ask for the power of the word to come our way jesus your most powerful word send it my way this morning open my eyes to see open my ears to hear let there be a word to the weary let there be a word to someone this morning to lift their spirit up in the name of jesus christ let your word come for me open my eyes open my ears open every part of my body let that word heal the healing power of the word let it flow this morning and reach out to somebody to the glory of your holy name in Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Now, two quick things. Uh, we are streaming live on Sonia Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go look for the channel right now as I'm talking to you. Subscribe and then click on all notification bell. Secondly, if you haven't liked and followed the page, Sonia Adeni Ministries on Facebook, Please like and follow it. All of this is done so when you, when we don't have time to share, you can catch it and then run with it. Hallelujah to God alone be all the glory. Now this morning we're just going to pray in the Holy Ghost. 
everyone on YouTube, everyone on Facebook. I welcome you in the name of the Lord and I ask the power of God to go to work for you. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's invite the presence of the Lord. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in His name. In His name. Can I let you know that we are gathered in His name? That's why there's miracle, signs, healing, wonders, glory to the glory of His name all happening from this altar this morning. Let's invite the presence of the Lord to this altar. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost now, right now. Let's take authority over every foul spirit. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's, brethren, wherever you are, uh, please let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Lift up your voice in the spirit. Pandora pia kete otela to biza pre otiate ampalara da gada hato japa kute kiate elipra ate katalada azade to tita lato radiata ne kapido hosha kambrapido ope kete kita haza zatusa repia toka ba pray in the spirit brethren don't just watch us pray in the holy ghost pray in the holy ghost you are calling down fire you are calling down power to come to your aid this morning to go ahead of you to discern everything that you need to do today to go ahead of you correct everything that needs to be corrected bring every favor that you need today bring every favor that you need over this weekend E nikata asalara pada katado jam prokete katila hata praya toga hosha keti tata zara are you praying this morning pray some more pray some more press in the spirit press in the spirit you are about to break through right now manehan zola e pidora ba push in the spirit a hosi lakata push in the holy ghost ekara hato push in the holy ghost ekla ante ya push in the holy ghost ekara baha Charge yourself in the spirit this morning. Ma bero di hado takaliaro kati zote ipeti sakala para kata kata yada ekito da bra ote abalara otiate kaliro tiato jate. Father, we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' precious name. We are prayed. Now, brethren, this is going to be our pattern every morning. Instead of spending time calling people's name one after the other, we're just going to be calling on the Holy Ghost. We're going to be spending time calling on the Holy Ghost to come to our rescue. Now, as we were ministering this morning, I saw someone. Now, there is a door that was shut. That's number one. That door began to open. I don't know who that is. From this morning, a door that you are expecting to open begins to open. The Holy Ghost forced it open. Now, part of what we do also as we pray in the spirit, we were calling order. I don't know who that person is. There is order in light right now. When you look at your life, it's so scattered. You look to the right everywhere. You are just everywhere. But this morning, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you have called down order into your life. I don't know who that is. If that's you celebrate the faithfulness of God because there's orderliness coming into your life and everything will begin to fall in line for you. God will show up for you. That's what we do every time we call and pray in the spirit this morning are you blessed to the glory of god hallelujah to god alone be all the glory now please take this stream share invite somebody invite them to join us their healing deliverance your broken body destroyed you are going to share in that joy in the name of jesus so everyone on facebook you are welcome in the name of jesus and everyone on youtube you are welcome to this power to triumph today friday the 25th day of june 2021 in jesus name amen now the lord has prepared a word i have put it on a slide this morning take a quick picture it's going to bless you as we go to pray now john 16 1 to 7 from verses 1 to 3 of john chapter 16 here is what the scripture says these things have i have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble that you should not be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming. That whoever kills you will think that he offers God service. Mm. 
And these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. Here's what I wrote. I said, Jesus announced uh, the, the pending persecutions against the believers. An example was the persecution of the church by Saul, who later became Paul, under the authority of the high priest, who went through the land, hunting down and persecuting Christians, convinced that he was doing the right thing. Today, do not persecute the church, thinking you are doing the right thing. I've seen a lot of this. People say, oh no, it's my right. It's my right. Why should the church treat me this way? Why should the church treat me this way? And they begin to persecute the church. The simple question Jesus asked Paul, he said, can you kick against a prick? Hmm. A prick is torn. Tons, 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 tons laid down. Those sharp things. He said, can you kick against a sharp thing? So, brethren, I beg of you in the name of Jesus, please do not join uh, <laughs> to persecute the church. Yes, persecution will come, but the Bible says, woe, woe, W-O-E, to him through which persecution comes. That's why Jesus asked Paul, Saul, he said, can you kick against a prick? Who are you? I set up my church. You said you want to kick against it. That's why Jesus said, I will build my church. The gate of hell is not, it's too small to succeed against it. So no matter the persecution against the church, the church will prevail at last. You, who is the church? You. No matter the persecution you face, you will prevail. I speak prophetically to somebody this morning. No matter that thing you are going through, can I let you know you are coming out of it unskated. You are coming out of it healed. You are coming out of it delivered. The gate of hell will crush before you. We crash before you in the name of Jesus. No matter the persecution against you, hold on. Hold on, brethren. Hold on. And I see you succeed i see you go forward i see you make progress in the name of jesus christ second quick word as we go to pray verses four to five look at it it says but these things i've told you that when the time comes you may remember that i told you of them and these things i do not say to you at the beginning because i was with you but now i go away to him who sent me and none of you ask me, where are you going? Now, Jesus was talking about the selfishness of the disciples right there. He was telling them, I'm going to go away. And nobody was asking, I saw him, Savior, Jesus, Master, where are you going? Nobody asked him. They were all wondering about, so if you go, what will happen to us? So if you go, what will happen to us? So Jesus was telling them, be unselfish in your approach to kingdom matters. I've been here with you three and a half years, and I'm telling you that I'll go away. Nobody asked me where we're going. You know, Jesus was a little bit emotional. Here's what I wrote. Although the disciples had asked Jesus about his death, they had never wondered about its meaning. They were mostly concerned about themselves. If Jesus went away, what would become of them? That's what they were concerned about. Their selfishness was pronounced in their approach to Jesus' death. Kingdom focus removes selfishness. So, the way to be unselfish is really to focus on the kingdom. This morning, can I let you know, Matthew 6.33 is an all-time scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things. All these things. What are these things? Food, clothes, house, glory, breakthrough, um, increase, child, husband, wife, everything. The Bible says shall be added unto you supernaturally. So the one thing you do that brings everything that you need is kingdom focused. Somebody this morning received grace to be kingdom focused, to search, search for the kingdom, pursue the kingdom, interest of the kingdoms. You are unselfish in your mind. You are not thinking about yourself. What will I wear? What will I drink? What will I... You, those things will come and go. My neighbor Hushakata. You will have what to eat. You will have what to drink. You will have to, what to wear. After that, what is more? What is more? 
what is more let's always ask ourselves oh i want to be rich i want to be rich and i run after money i run after money i run after money walk all through don't go to church to just seek money 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 when you get all the money what do you do and that's the question that jesus was asking in the parable that he was talking about the rich man he suddenly looked at it his, his breakthrough came and he said, well, I look at my old banner, I'll pull it down, I'll put a new one, and I'll now say to my soul, so sit and enjoy yourself for the rest of your life. If you ever get to that point and you get complacent in the spirit, that person is as good as dead. You know what Jesus said? He said, I will tell him tonight, your soul will be required of you. And then the Bible, he was asking, so who has it prepared all those riches for? So brethren, in our lifetime, Everyone under the sound of my voice. In our lifetime. In our lifetime. Let's pursue Jesus. Let's pursue God. Let's pursue the interest of the kingdom. Let's pursue the interest of his church. You belong to a, a local church. Let everybody know you are on fire for God. Your own interest is to see the progress of this church. That, let that be your interest. When you carry it on your head, God carries you on his head. Everybody says, oh, I want God to be close to me. Are you close to God? I want the protection of God. Are you protecting his kingdom? Are you pursuing? Are you passionate about his kingdom? It is your approach to kingdom matters that determines God's approach to your own matters. So, Matthew 6, 33, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you receive grace this morning last quick word as we go to pray is verses six to seven look at it he said but because i said these things to you sorrow has filled your heart nevertheless i tell you the truth it is to your advantage that i go away for if i do not go away the helper will not come hmm. to you but if i depart i will send him to you what a promise jesus had to leave for the Holy Ghost to spread around. Jesus was one man. And he could only be at one place at one time. But he said, when I go away, I will give the Holy Ghost who will go around Kaliba Ho Sirakata. As we are in Calgary right now, or wherever you are in the part of the world, now you are some people are in Asia as I'm speaking right now. Some people are in, in US. Some people are in UK. And we are all scattered around the globe listening. But the same Holy Ghost, in me, is at work in you right now. What a power. Jesus in his in his days as a man could not get that done. So that's what he said. When I if I don't go, the Holy Spirit will not come and you will not have access to him. So this morning the Spirit of God has come to fill your heart and will help you do exploit this day in the name of Jesus. Let me read what I wrote. Unless Jesus did what he came to do, there will be no good news. If he did not die, he could not remove our sins. He could not rise again and defeat death. Yes. If he did not go back to the Father, the Holy Spirit would not come. Christ's presence on earth was limited to one place at a time. His living meant he could be present to the whole world through the Holy Spirit. So this morning, receive that grace, receive that fire, receive that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I hope the communion table is set across the homes. Let's bless the communion table. Let's lift it before the Lord. Heavenly Father, bring that, that water, that cookies. This is the communion of the flesh and blood of Jesus. We bless and break it and call it the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ. As we partake of it, anything in our flesh and in our blood that is not identified in the flesh and blood of Jesus, I command it to be removed. As we come in union with you right now, I break every hold of sickness. I break every hold of disease. By the power of the word of God this morning, let that quick and powerful word perform surgical operation in the bones, in the marrow, in the soul, in the spirit, in the intent and thoughts of everyone across the sound of my voice, across the globe. Now, in the name of Jesus, let the power of the word go to work. Be healed. Be saved, be delivered. Yokes are broken, bodies are destroyed. You are set free as you come in union via this communion in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Let's partake of it right now. Take that water, take that cookies. It's blessed in Jesus' name. The flesh, the blood. Hallelujah. Touch that part of your body where there is pain and appropriate that blood all over you. Cover yourself with that blood. 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody was sharing a quick testimony with me uh, two days ago. She said they usually watch this program as a family after we are done. That they are praying for grace to be able to wake up at the time we wake up. And then she said, as um, so she got to the communion. And so she said she took the communion, smeared it all over, took it immediately. A pain around the neck, I can't remember right now, just left her suddenly. There was a pounding headache that she had. That headache stopped immediately. So this morning you are healed, you are saved, you are delivered by the power of the flesh and the blood of Jesus that we have come in union this morning. You are healed by that blood. The Bible says, we overcame by the blood. Hallelujah. You are not going to overcome. You already overcame in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, brethren, it's time for personal supplication, prayer request, and praise report. If you have a prayer request, if you have a praise report, share it with the people of God this morning to the glory of God. Now, while I lead us in personal supplication, I love the scripture in Philippians 2, 3 to 4. It said, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. So don't do anything in selfish ambition, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Have you read that before? He said, let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. So based on that scripture, we're going to pray like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to be more kingdom focused in my day-to-day -day living and be unselfish in my approach. Somebody needs to pray that prayer right now. You know, the reason why most people don't experience a breakthrough they hold tightly to what they have. And meanwhile, the king, the principle of the kingdom, if you do not give what you have in your hand, if you don't give your time, if you don't give your life, if you don't give your money, nothing comes in return. A farmer who is expecting a harvest and wants to hold on to his seed tightly will just hold on to that seed. The seed will abide alone. It will never produce fruit. So this morning, let's pray that prayer. Very important. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive grace to be more kingdom focused in my day-to-day -day living and be unselfish in my approach. Let's go to the Lord. Let's pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive grace to be more kingdom focused in my day-to-day -day living and be unselfish in my approach. Every selfishness, every power of selfishness, I break over my life in the name of Jesus and I receive power lay behold to, to be unselfish to pursue the interest of the kingdom to press in the spirit to persevere to the glory and honor and praise of your holy name i thank you father i give you praise and glory hallelujah to your name in jesus precious name we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah to god alone be all the glory so if you have a prayer request Please type it out there. If you have a praise report, reach out to the people of God this morning. Share in the name of Jesus. Sister Yvonne, a wife says, Daddy, please pray for my family, for God to perfect what he has started. The Lord is on your side. The Lord is doing a great work. The, what he has started in you, he will perfect, and he has perfected it to the glory of his name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Woo! What a beautiful testimony. From Sister Rebecca Obioha. Praise the Lord, Papa. Sister Clarita, out of oxygen. Yesterday, and able to speak, responding very well. This is the second testimony of near-death experience that we are having on this platform. Sometime last week also, we had another one from Mama Harolda. Her sister came back to life, also on oxygen, was about to give up, but the power of God went to her. Can I let you know, this altar is one of the strongest altar around the globe that God is using to perfect all that concerns us. So this morning, I decree everything around your life is perfected. God's hand rests upon you. His glory rests on you in Jesus' name. Mama Mary Chuku says, I'm healed by the blood. Yes, 
your healing is perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. And someone else, Sister Delsina Lee says, I receive my open door in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, what God has begun in you, he will perfect to the glory of his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Now, brethren, we give glory to God for those powerful testimonies and much more. While I'm still waiting for more, let's go and take our my daily protection covenant declaration. Right now, if you are ready as I am, let us go. Because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that fly by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, or it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wicked rewarded, because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come now my dwelling, for God shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways, they shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon God, therefore will he deliver me. He will set me on high, because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me with long life. Will God satisfy me? and show me his salvation so shall it be for me today in jesus precious name amen and amen hallelujah to god alone be all the glory that shall be your portion today tomorrow and all the days of your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah to god alone be all the glory now quick announcement as we go to uh try to round up this morning couple of announcements it's offering time you want to give your offering to the name of the lord to sonny adeni ministries to support the good work that the lord is doing here is the information right now in your giving go to paypal sonny adeni or interact email transfer to sonny adeni at gmail.com that's how to give to sonny and adeni ministries this morning in jesus name second quick and good news this morning brethren at joy overflow international church is our end of the month thanksgiving and celebration service hallelujah to god alone be all the glory it's happening at 2013 39 avenue uh northeast and or you join us if you are not in town you can join us uh via online streaming via, via facebook joy overflow international church facebook page or sonia denny ministries channel on youtube glory to god the time is 9 30 a.m are you truly grateful to god for protection the month of june is coming to an end this is the last weekend in june are you truly grateful half of the year gone are you truly grateful it's time to show it to god go to church be in touch show up in god's house and say father i have come to say a big thank you so one more time here's the flyer take a picture of it and then also on youtube i posted the link if you go to youtube if you're on youtube you'll find a link there that i posted just a, about a minute ago click on that link it will take you right to the event bright uh, page so you can register your presence and if you are also on facebook there is a link that i've posted um click on the link it will take you to event bright so you reserve a spot for yourself we want to thank god for what he's doing about the church the church is opening up and very shortly i think by next week the whole church will be welcome back to come into his presence to god alone be all the glory now i see a couple more testimonies uh sister udra kobon eshet says i thank god uh no sister sukainat sorry i thank god for my son's graduation yesterday Woo! glory to god 
Congratulations, Sister Sukainan, for that powerful testimony. To God alone be all the glory for the great things he has done for you. And I pray over him in the name of Jesus and for all our children that are graduating, that the hand of the Lord will rest upon them. The glory of the Lord will cover them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will do well. They will make progress. They will succeed in life to the glory of, of God's name. So all our children graduating high school, we give glory to God. Sister Jane Ifomai Ruchalu says, uh, Thank God for my daughter's birthday today, 23rd birthday. Woo! Glory to God. Congratulations uh, to that daughter of Zion for that birthday. The Lord's hand will rest upon you. The glory of the Lord will cover you. He will preserve you. He will uphold you. You will do well. You will make progress. You will move forward in the name of Jesus. You will see many more fruitful years upon the earth to the glory of God name, God's name in the name of Jesus Christ. I see another testimony from Sister Rebecca. He said, I thank God for a healing of a sudden pain on my wrist, rubbing the communion yesterday. Glory to God. Brethren, can I let you know, every instruction in the spirit that you follow helps you to avoid a destruction. Listen, it is the instructions of the Holy Spirit that helps us to avoid destructions. So this morning, you have escaped. You have escaped. Every time you comply with spiritual instructions, you triumph, you make progress, and you move forward. Congratulations, Sister Rebecca. Glory be to God for that powerful testimony to the glory of His name. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Uh, I see also a few more things. Father, give me the grace for kingdom focus in Jesus' mighty name from Amachia Machebuka. Praise God. Uh, Staudok Oban said, Grace to search for your kingdom. Lord, I receive. Yes, that's what God will do in the name of Jesus Christ. To God alone be all the glory. This weekend goes well for you because you have put God first. Today, tomorrow, and all the rest of the days of this week, the Lord God will preserve you. He will cause his face to shine upon you. He will uphold you. In the name of Jesus, you have honored God all through this week. Honor we attend to you today, tomorrow, and the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. To God alone be all the glory. Now I'm going to keep the flyer going and this morning. So if you are giving your offering, lift it up and let's go before the Lord. Lord, we bless every offering. We receive it into the kingdom now and call it blessed. Let there be multiple fold our blessing and reward to the glory of your holy name in Jesus' precious name. So the information will be flying as we go to round up this morning to the glory of God. Hallelujah. With Jesus' joy, this morning shall we take our covenant from uh, Psalm 16, verse 11. Let's go. God will show me the part of life, for in his presence is the fullness of my joy, and at his right hand are my pleasures forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Shout the second one out loud. My glory is here. No loss. No pain, no shame. No loss, no pain, no shame for you. All through this weekend, God will show up for you. He will honor you. Be in church. Be in touch. Be in church. Be in touch with heaven. The glory of God rests upon you. And finally, I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Well, let's take that again. I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll keep the flyer rolling and then uh, we should round up shortly. God bless you. Peace. The next time again we come on is Monday morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. You are blessed and highly lifted in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. That's the giving information.